here it is the new temporary living room air conditioner this is a Frigidaire model is a 25,000 BTU model which I don't think is overkill at all for this particular room these are made by the Electrolux which has been around for quite some time it is the model number FHWC253WB2 it has the explosive 32 refrigerant 29 ounces of it crazy pressures this is what's the power draw 12.2 amps the amount of cool zone 18k I believe is 9 amps so this does draw a little bit more power presumably it should run a little bit less because it's hopefully in working order uh, I'm not sure I don't really care what the what the power factors out to be it is whatever it is so it's got a whole bunch of documents here uh, some of these are pretty thick so I'll look through those later it appears that uh, it comes with like full on side curtains and everything there's a top thing for it and then I believe these are side curtains and also came with this uh, these foam sheets I don't know what those are for Yep, those are definitely side curtains. So that's interesting. I don't, <laughs> I don't have any windows anywhere near big enough to, to uh, put this in. Well, I mean, it will go in that window, but that's a, uh, that's a horizontal sliding window. I can't think of any vertical windows I know of that would, that would fit this. This is pretty big. Anyways, uh, I've heard from reliable sources. That these are decent machines it wasn't too expensive it was uh, on Amazon it retailed for $655 which is a lot of money but for the size of the machine relative to other models it was pretty cheap and uh, it was supposed to come yesterday it didn't show up until today so I called and complained and I got some money off the sale because like, what's the point in, in paying for Amazon's Prime if the guaranteed delivery date doesn't actually turn out to be the date anyways it looks like I have to slide it out before we use it because there is there is stuff in there which I don't know why they would do that because if it could go into a window you would potentially never slide it out but inherently I have to do that so you can do it with me and we'll take a look at what the inside appears appears like So a great start. Screws flying everywhere. And there's a plastic little washer on the floor somewhere now. Okay, I'll pause the video while I do this. I can't find it. I'll look again during the day. It's not bright enough in here for me to see it at the moment. Alright, so those are removed. This is removed two shipping screws from this area. So, I mean, those look like they could hold something together. So, I don't know why those are just shipping screws, but whatever. It's got all this dorky advertising stuff on here. Energy Guide. You know, on expensive glossy paper, like, come on, people. It's an it's a 10. A, a sear of 10. Which is very low. I mean, we have uh, uh, central units that can get up to, like, 24 sear now, I think. So 10 is terrible. And curiously enough, like, in the 80s, 
you were getting already like nine or eight out of the window units so these really haven't improved much at all which just further nullifies all the garbage claims about oh it's energy efficient mm -hmm. okay so I think there's going to be a couple screws inside here you have to remove in order to slide it out it looks like uh, at least three And one down here, one up here, and one over here. Uh, four, one down here as well. Side here to release the clips. And then we have a modular connection over here for the uh, controls, and so now the front cover is detached. Okay. So, uh, we have this, this stupid little vent thing, which is such a useless and dumb feature, yet it's been on these machines for decades. Oh yeah, that's, that little hole is really going to exhaust a significant amount of air. Stupid. So he's got a regular uh, squirrel cage. Uh, blower there, not one of those weird uh, like vacuum and power looking things. It's like a ball bearing motor for sure. It's a smaller coil than I would have expected. Looks like it's some kind of uh, copper alloy. Uh, the aluminium ones that Carrier used were much better. Okay, so the cord has plastic foam on there, which, remember this is ecologically sound and environmentally friendly. To buy a new air conditioner to replace a perfectly good working old one, and then put all this plastic into the trash, and all the styrofoam in this tape, because allegedly this stuff is okay to put into the landfill. I find that very difficult to believe, but that's what we're told. Look at all this plastic film, and you're paying for this too. I bought all this plastic film along with the machine. Unbelievable. Okay, so now we gotta slide it out. I don't think that is anything else locking it in place. I'm going to move it onto the floor though for this because uh, it's going to be easier to slide out. And it's not moving around. And this, this is heavy, which is a good sign. Um, but it's not like outrageously heavy. I carried it up the stairs by myself. So, it is able to be lifted, but it's very heavy. It's 139 pounds, I think it's supposed to be. But you just use a lot of mechanical advantage tricks and you go slow. Oh, 
Okay. So now, let's see if we can slide it out. It's got a nice handle down here to slide out with. Nope, that's not even budging. Okay. There must be something else uh, holding it in. Those screws are removed, so then what is it? Still, I have no idea how, but it's definitely, um, definitely still attached somewhere. Could it be? Ah, yes, it is. That's pretty stupid. Because how the heck would you put these on? There's certain applications, so you wouldn't be able to screw this back in. I could, but if this is real high up, you're not going to be sliding, you know, putting those screws back in. Probably got to set those on the other side, too. He sure does. That's dumb. Alright, let's try again. Okay, let's take a look at what we got here. Remove straps and foam blocks before installing into sleeve. Yeah, it was already in the sleeve, so how does that make any sense? Um, I guess we got to cut this out. I'm not sure these little scissors are going to do this. There it goes. Okay. I think that's all. I think this is supposed to, oh no, that comes out too, I guess. Okay, that's weird. Um, what's this? Caution, risk of fire. Is that a service port? Kind of funny. I don't know what that's. That looks weird. Hmm. It's not a service port, but it's strange. All right, we'll leave that there. These are all isolated from each other, which is good because if those start rubbing against each other, they can get little pinholes in them and start to leak. The compressor is the GMCC compressor. Holes refer to aircon's label. Do not compress air. Don't tell me what to compress. So it looks like this could be for 32 or 410. Pretty sure nothing comes with 410 anymore. So let's see, we got four tubes there going in. And uh, none of them are making any contact with each other, so that's all correct. The condenser is is four layers thick, so that's pretty substantial. Let's see what the drainage situation is here. 
it has the stupid slinger wheel on the V end plus it looks like it has a bunch of bunch of uh, quill pieces that go on the bottom that are supposed to sit in the water but I think this is so dumb because like that shouldn't even work because it's just gonna fill up uh, like the water's just gonna get hot and then I, I don't know I don't see how that makes any difference so I think what I'll do here is I'll put some hot glue or something to block block this so often I'll drill a hole in here so that the uh, water goes out and not into the uh, not into the condenser area we don't want any water in there all right well let's put it back in it looks like it would be relatively easy to clean uh... well maybe this would come off and give you access to the evaporator area and then I think you'd have to take the you have to take the fan off and then maybe if this is in two pieces you can slide the top part out and then get those screws off I don't know maybe it's not so easy to clean historically Frigidaire like over the last decade or so was pretty reputable for being easy to clean but Maybe this isn't so much the case. I don't know. It's going to be on my deck and the condenser is going to stay dry so it should stay relatively clean. And hopefully it's not even in service for that long, but who knows. Alright, let's slide this back in. It slides in and out very nicely. I don't give it that much. Oh, the fan motor. We should take a look at the fan motor too while we're in here. The fan motor is a uh, is a welling motor, which is a known brand. It's an air over motor, of course, and yeah. It doesn't. Does it explicitly say made in China? I don't see it saying that anywhere, but I'm sure it probably is. That's what the fee in looks like. It's a, a blue fee in. It's probably also very noisy. That's my biggest concern with this machine is going to be the noise level. Alright, let's get this back into the sleeve. Put those two or those four screws back in the sides, even though I think that's dumb. And then we'll turn it on. See how it works. See how loud it is.
Okay, back in the sleeve. I'm gonna put it back onto the onto the rolling cart. I always start with the non-compressor side, and it's much lighter. Attach the uh, electronics controls. Snap on from the top. That's all back together now. This filter is kind of stupid. It just like it secures on the bottom, but it doesn't really like stay in, in place on the top. That well, I mean, it'll stay in place once the cover is on, but. Okay, now there's a remote control for this just saw when I was opening the box, I think. Was it in the uh, I don't remember where it was now. Oh here it is. And it comes with uh what does it come with? It comes with weekly minimum batteries. plastic film The remote is kind of small, 
and the buttons are super small but at least they're spaced out so you can still press them it's got the remote sensing thing which I think is kind of cool all right now I'll plug the thing in I have a uh, it's a 220 uh, plug 220 machine I have a 220 hour over here behind the stove so I got this extension to set this up here plug this in and I'll plug the machine in and of course it's got one of these funny GFI plugs. At least this one's relatively small. Some of those things are huge. And now let's go ahead and turn the thing on. And let's see how bad the noise level is. Take a guess, I would call this a 12,000. The cool zone, the 18,000 V2 cool zone, easily blows with twice the force out of the register than this does. So, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure that I'm 
at all confident in this thing's ability to cool the room. And time will tell. I'll put it in and we'll see what happens, but I don't know. For 25,000 BTU, I would expect to get blasted when standing in front of this register. And uh, it's just unimpressive.